Hey guys, it's Lisa Mackey and welcome to the channel that helps you succeed through your own uniqueness. In this video, I'm going to help you make your business adaptable to the new normal, whether you already have a business or planning to start one. So if you're curious to know more about this, like this video and hit the subscribe button. Now let's continue with this video. How do you make your business adaptable to the new normal? Did you know that Filipinos are compared to bamboos because of their resiliency? Yep, and you can bend them in any direction you want and they will still bounce back. And that's because of the so many crises that Filipinos have been through, which have made them adaptable. While resiliency is the ability to recover from any difficult situation, adaptability is the ability to take that same difficult situation, make the necessary adjustments, and create something more positive and better. So in a way, this crisis that we are experiencing right now is a real good training ground for resiliency and adaptability. It's also a good launching pad for a better and stronger business that can weather any future storm. Now, let me ask you a few questions that will help you reassess your business. My first question is, what benefit do you offer your customers? What value are you adding to their lives? As a business coach, one of the biggest benefits I offer my customers is cost and time efficiency. And the value that I offer them is priceless. And this value includes peace of mind, confidence, security, productivity, and even stability. My business coaching program actually helps entrepreneurs build a strong foundation for their business in a shorter time than it would take them if they do it on their own, thereby avoiding expensive mistakes. These benefits are always going to remain regardless of any crisis because these benefits are actually you. They are what you offer to people. These benefits make up your uniqueness. So capitalize on these benefits. Whatever the situation is, use these benefits to modify your product or your service. Now ask yourself, it's now your turn, ask yourself, what benefits do I offer my customers? What value am I adding to their lives? Now I suggest you pause this video, give yourself a minute or so, answer this question, write it down. It's good to write your answer down so you can go back to it. And after doing that, we can proceed to the next question. My second question is, what problem is your business solving? Every business should have a problem to solve. You cannot have a product or service if there is no problem that that product or service is solving. So ask yourself, what problem am I solving? In my business, one of the biggest problems I'm solving is lack of fulfillment. I have dealt with customers or clients who have very financially rewarding careers and yet they were not fulfilled. And so I've helped people shift from their careers to establishing and having a business that they are passionate about. I've also had clients who were already retired thinking that in their retirement they will finally find fulfillment. But after doing what they have intended to do, they end up bored, unfulfilled, and so I've also helped retired people set up their businesses doing something they are passionate about. 
Now, these types of problems will always be the types of problems that you will be drawn to solve. So whatever crisis you experience, whatever situation you are in, these problems are going to remain. For as long as we are in this world, there will be problems. And as I've said, these are the types of problems you will always be drawn to find solutions for. So when you know what these problems are, then you will be able to go back to those same problems to modify your product or your service. So it's now your turn. Ask yourself, what problems is my business solving? Again, pause this video, give yourself a minute or so, answer the question, write it down, and then we can proceed to my third question. My third question is, what needs are you addressing? I am not talking about general needs like food, clothing, and shelter. I'm talking about deeper internal needs. So my business coaching program addresses needs like the need for peace of mind, the need for self-sufficiency, the need to have a more fulfilling profession. So these needs are not going to change. In fact, they remain regardless of crisis. In fact, this crisis, to be honest with you, has intensified some of these needs which actually benefited my business. So if your business closed down as a result of this crisis, know that the needs are still there. The needs will always be there. So if you know what needs you are addressing, you can use that and go back to that and think about that in modifying your product or service. Now it's your turn to ask yourself, what needs am I addressing? Again, pause this video, give yourself a minute or so, write down your answer, and we can finally proceed after that to my fourth and last question. My fourth question is, what prompted you to start this business or your business? Now, I'll be honest with you. If your answer is outside of your passion, then you are not in the right place. However, there is a chance to rethink your business. Now, I've been in the coaching profession long before it became a trend. I love public speaking. I love training. I love teaching. I love helping people process their thoughts. I love imparting what I know to others. I love encouraging people. And so all these make up my passion. And my passion is the reason why I am in this business. In fact, coaching is my first love when it comes to profession. And I had a coaching business back in the 90s, as I've said, long before it became, or it was called coaching. It was consulting back then. So I had it back in the 90s. Then I shifted to a different direction only for me to go back to my first love. So that passion, if you find it, will always remain with you. And nothing and no one can take that passion away from you. Now it's your turn. Ask yourself the question, what prompted me to start my business. And if it's not related to your passion, then ask yourself, what is my passion? Now, this passion should be the foundation for your business. Use it to modify your product and or your service. Again, pause this video, give yourself a minute or so, answer this question, write it down. Now, you can always go back to my questions and your answers by simply replaying this video. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be on YouTube, so you might as well save it on your playlist. Your answers to my questions are actually the foundation of your business. So you can always refer to the questions and your answers. You can modify your answers. You can always use them to adapt not only to the new normal, but whatever situation you will face in the future. Now, if this video has helped you in any way, let me know by clicking like, sharing it with your family and friends, and of course, by leaving a comment. Ask me questions, share with me your insights, or make suggestions. Remember, you were created for a purpose that only you can fulfill. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of every video I post on Wednesdays. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again next time.